Hi guys, a little while ago I put up a post for a, it was quite a while, longer than it should have been, but due to um, family illnesses and life, um, I'm a little bit long in putting this video up for Andy, it was. for that I apologise. Um, they sent me a box, and going back on the videos, um, with some chalk paint and some Webster's pages pad of paper. Uh, totally not my thing, colour wise or anything. And um, Edie said she'd sent it for me a challenge, and yeah, you did. <laughs> um, what I did first was I, I covered the box and painted it with the chalk paint they'd sent, and edged with uh, some gold rub and buff that you can get on the site. Um, I made these, these are out of the um, moulds you can buy on the site and the Martha Stewart clay or the air dry clay. I made a couple of little, as you can see, I made a couple of little frames for the drawers. Um, I put a couple of picture things in but those pictures can be removed and your own put in. But I did the memories on the top and um, these are some of the flowers that were sent to me as well. Um, you may see that um, there's a tag of paper and I bet you're thinking what is that tag of paper doing up there? Well that tag of paper is to show you that um, that is a photo frame and um, I did that so that I'll be able to show you you can put a photo in there with your memories and I've made it to actually look like a photo frame vintage photo stain and stuff uh, Tim Holtz all available I also made at the side, if you can see, um, this has got a film on to protect the, I'll take it off, protect the acetate from fingerprints while I was constructing, <laughs> um, but that can come off now. In the side you can put a photo, like so, and on the same side, on, the, on this side as well, I'll leave that on for now. Um, on the bottom it's got little pearl feet and you can write under there should you want to. And in the drawers, pull out, in this drawer I've made a little tiny um, book out of the papers for putting in some photos and little journaling messages. little photos this paper is also this is the best paper and it's American crafts available in hundreds of colors I love it, it cuts out scores it makes things it's gorgeous that's also on hunky happy hippos and this is a punch that's also available on there so I made that these laces was in a pack that came with the Webster's pages as well I did each drawer and I covered inside whoops not that bit I forgot it <laughs> where the handle goes I actually took the pearls off and covered again and then re-put them in the in the drawer as you can see um, and stuck the each drawer I've lined and each drawers for whatever this one's got a little um, a little padding, little notes that you just cut out that you can write little things on. Put a photo on the back should you wish. That's that one. These drawers I've left for um, putting trinkets in. There's one in there already um, that came with the uh, little trinkets that come you can get on and a hippo site all to match these papers this one's ready for Easter look this one was a, another one I don't know where it just dis disappeared but it was in there this one is lined with roses where you can as, this is all for little putting little keepsakes in the bottom drawer I've made a a little diary thing, 
little book for photos. It's got this special moment, so all these can be put in. There's a little thing in there for journaling, and you can put photos, photos, journaling, whatever you wish to put in there. I just thought it would be a nice idea to put in there. There's a little pocket for stuff there. And that is my little project for Handy Hippo's Crafts. Let me move out a bit so you can see. So, and I think that look, in actual fact, my granddaughter wants this to sit on her um, side in the kitchen, I think. Maybe, or side in the kitchen, side in the bedroom, maybe. Just put little trinkets and little odds and she's another one like me, she keeps all little things um, for memories and stuff. So this will probably be with her at some point. Okay, anyway, thank you for looking. Thanks to Handy Hippos for allowing me to be part of the design team. I apologise for being so long with this one. And it won't be like it again. I will be putting some more things on soon and I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a really Happy New Year and enjoy your crafting. Bye!